night in Arizona. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. No. <laughs> what? Yo. Yo. That's crazy, dude. What the fuck? Bro. He's crying because he read the script right before he came out on the field, dude. It's real. The scripting is real. He knows. He's like, I can't. He's sitting there. He just read the script. He knows that it's going to be a referee call that basically eviscerates their chances. You know what I mean? And he's just like, fuck. I wish I could tell everybody. Waterworks for Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni during the national anthem. An immediate win for the internet. Me knowing I have to go to work tomorrow. Me at the end of The Last of Us on HBO episodes 3 and 5. And more tears for Jason Kelsey and Mama Donna after the Eagles loss. But after the Chiefs win, Travis getting that same support from Mom. The night's big loser, the grass at State Farm Stadium. Players <laughs> slipping and sliding all night long. And the biggest winners of the night, Rihanna fans, a.k.a. the Navy. Cara Delevingne on the sidelines in a shirt that said Rihanna concert interrupted by a football game. Weird, but whatever. Bro, she is so... God. Sorry, if you think that that's a fire shirt, you're so lame, okay? That is so fucking lame, dude. It's Rihanna. Like, she's already cool as fuck. How do you make... How do you make... Being a fan of Rihanna look lame, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. It, it's just like, stop. I'm not mad that she fucking curved me on Raya, okay? That's, that's so... Everybody chill out, okay? Everybody fucking calm down. It, 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 you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways, okay? My lack of riz in that particular moment helped me dodge a bullet, so shut the fuck up. Weird, but whatever. Yeah, no Riri finding love high above the field in Super Bowl 57. Pay me what you want it. Don't act like you forgot. Unlike the half. <laughs> I say, I, uh, I heard someone, <laughs> I heard someone was saying, some comedian was saying that like, Rihanna showed that women don't deserve pregnancy leave like maternally. <laughs> Rihanna proving that women, women don't need, uh, you know, to uh, leave of absence from work for pregnancy. It's true. Look at that. If Rihanna can do it, why can't you? Time shows in recent years, Rihanna's was a one-woman show. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Riri revealing a baby bump, simultaneously announcing a pregnancy and becoming the first pregnant woman to headline the halftime show ever. The father of Rihanna's nine-month-old son, ASAP Rocky, cheering Riri on from the field. And Adele in the... What the fuck is bro wearing though, dude? Son, no, I mean, I I can't talk. I mean, this is like this is definitely some shit I would wear. Okay, uh, like <laughs> that's definitely some shit I would definitely. Okay, that is one hundred percent something I would wear. I'm sorry. Yes, dead to rights. You can make fun of me for my instant reaction being, "What the fuck's he wearing?" I, I quickly, I quickly owned it. I quickly owned it. I owned it. I owned it. I owned it. It's true. I, I would wear that. ASAP Rocky cheering Riri on from the field. And Adele in the stands giving a meme-worthy reaction from her seat as per usual. And the halftime show's ASL interpreter, Justina Miles, going in. Why people need to stop. I'm just, I'm going to say it again. Riri! <laughs> the ASL interpreter going in. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> to Riri. Uh -huh. She's serving up. She ate and had all the bread crumbs and left nothing. A winning night for video gamers, too. Those floating platforms strikingly similar to Super Smash Brothers. Fans photoshopping Bowser and other characters into Rihanna's high flying <laughs> Patty Mo got Kelsey's a shout out on mainstream news. Brotherly support. One brother scores, the other brother having a snack. Enjoy. Jason Kelsey unbothered when Travis Kelsey scored for the Chiefs. Relatable, though. Game day really is all about the snacks and the ads. What are you doing here? I haven't seen a single fucking ad uh, from the Super Bowl, by the way. I suspect there wasn't a lot of cryptocurrency ones, though. Hassan, no, the hive. Stop. What? Apparently, there were some Jesus ads, which I love. I love Jesus. By the way, she was quick. Her first baby was born May 2022. Curse me if I'm Is this what you do when you say you're going to work all day? I, I gotta go, guys. Grab me a glaze. Ben and Jen for Duncan and more superstar commercials. Zoolander, a.k.a. Ben Stiller for Pepsi Zero. This is really, really ridiculously good tasting. Cher Horowitz, a.k.a. Alicia Silverstone for Rakuten. I used to be pretty clueless about shopping. Like, when I heard I could save by getting cash back with Rakuten, I was like, as if. And movie fans getting a sneak peek of the final Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm Star-Lord. The upcoming Flash movie. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. And Indiana Jones. What are you doing here? Let's go! Hey, uh. Bro, it's kind of wild. Like, that DC basically was just like, as a franchise, we have to keep going with Ezra Miller. Like, and, and they're going to get away with it, I think. 100%. Like, they were just like, fuck it, YOLO, you know? Just, who cares, right? It, it's, it is a wild play, but also, simultaneously, I'm like, I'm interested to see if they can get away with it. Like, does a big-budget Hollywood production have the capacity to get someone out of prison, okay, help them evade the law regularly as they're doing like weird cult shit, okay? It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty wild. Is this even a question in your mind? Well, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, when you are routinely being a menace to society okay like very openly being a menace to society like doing a lot of crimes which in involve like kidnapping minors and stuff um yeah that's usually when you're like okay maybe we shouldn't maybe we shouldn't continue with this person it's like a liability but i mean army hammer got fucking you know army hammer's gone you know think about that but I guess Army Hammer wasn't like DC, uh, wasn't a, a a a part of like you know DC IP, right? Hassan pro cancel culture. Okay, my friend, you have to understand like there's cancel culture, which is not real, which by the way this story perfectly demonstrates, and then there's like a federal crime cancellation, right? Which is called like doing crimes and then and then going to jail for doing crimes, right? Like. Like, that's just, we need to, we need to understand something about like cancel culture. Uh, it's, it's like when you get canceled for doing something that is illegal by going to prison and serving a prison sentence. So that's, there's a difference there. Zoomers, prison is kind of like cancel culture. You know, there's like rules and stuff that's like written. <laughs> anyway, that was, yeah. <laughs> Zoomers are like, wow, they really canceled Ted Bundy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Fired Henry Cavill, but kept Ezra Miller. Can't make this shit up. Yeah, Henry Cavill got fucked a lot uh, over uh, over a DCIP. Like he quit. He publicly quit The Witcher. He publicly quit The Witcher franchise, only to 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 you know do Superman, and then he got fucking you know clapped up. It's wild. It's a recent movie. That's the whole point of doing the Flashpoint story here so they can start over. Okay, but like, you're not hearing me. Dude, you're, you're not... Like, that doesn't change the... Re Dude, I don't care. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like... It's like, uh, you don't get it. It's a reset movie. Okay, well, so like Ezra Miller... Like, they have to be in the movie. So they can reset the lore. What? <laughs> DC says like, we really need this IP reset. Okay. The last, the last couple of franchise hits have been dog shit. We forcibly brought back the fucking Zack Snyder cut, which was also dog shit. Okay, we need this reset really bad. You don't understand. I don't give a fuck if Ezra Miller is openly sacrificing babies on camera. We need this reset for the franchise. If you want to reset the top of the hour ad break and no longer see it, though, all you need to do is subscribe at the top of the hour because there's a three-minute ad break coming now. Now, of course, everyone wants an uninterrupted broadcast experience like the DC fans want a reset to their franchise. You're joking, but that's exactly what it is. No, I know. It's not even a joke. It's real, just like the top of the hour ad break is, which you can, you know, make it surreal as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime or by getting gifted a sub. Oh, run the ad break, Bish. Thank you for the five gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads. Uh, I will be running the ad break now. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nancy's Pelosi's. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. I want to reset so goddamn bad. Tired of DC getting shit on by normies who don't read. Bro, you're talking about reading a comic book. 